A viewer of mine posted a question that I thought was interesting. He asked, which version of the VCM does he have on his Honda Ridgeline? The information is actually in two different videos. So in this video, I'm going to try to piece it all together. The two videos are, first one is all about VCM, everything you need to know. And the second video is which version of the J35 V6 engine includes VCM and which model includes those engines. So some of the things I will talk about in this video is a repeat. Some information I will leave out and some information will be new or in addition that was not included in those other two videos. So let's begin. There are four versions of the VCM system from Honda. VCM number one includes two engines, J35A7, which is the 2005 to 2010 Honda Odyssey, EXL and Touring model, and also the J35Z1, which is on the 2006 to 2008 Honda Pilot. VCM version 1 starts with 6-cylinder and then half of the bank of the V6 is shut down. So it goes from 6-cylinder to 3-cylinder mode. And various VCM muzzler devices will work with VCM version 1. There's various versions of devices that controls the VCM, variable cylinder management. I only have experience with VCM Muzzler 2, but there are other devices that work just as well. So in this video, I'll just use the term VCM Muzzler. Next is VCM version 2. It starts with the J35Z2, which is on the 2008 to 2012 Honda Accord, 2010 to 2012 Honda Accord Cross Tour, and 2013 to 2018 Acura RDX. Also, J35Z4, which is the 2009 to 2015 Honda Pilot, and the J35Z8, which is on the 2011 to 2017 Honda Odyssey. Now this version, VCM version 2, starts off in 6-cylinder mode. It can also go into 4-cylinder mode and then 3-cylinder mode, depending on the requirement that is placed on the engine. If you on a light load, it will be in three cylinder mode where one bank of the cylinder is shut off. If you need a little bit more engine power, it would shut off one cylinder on each of the bank. So basically it functions like a V4 cylinder. Then of course, at full power, it's V6, both banks, three cylinders on each side running as it should. VCM muzzler devices also work on VCM version 2. On my 2014 Honda Odyssey, I installed the VCM muzzler and the engine was perfect from day one to the day I traded it in. It burned zero oil and it runs like new. Unlike the previous version of the J35 V6 on my 2009 Odyssey and 2010 Accord. Both burned a lot of oil and was part of the class action lawsuit. I had to get it fixed, foul plugs, check engine light, and Honda did reimburse me for those repairs. Next version would be VCM version 3. On the engine cover, you will see a emblem and the term 
Earth Dreams. That is Honda's term for this new direct injection V6 engine, whereas the previous engines are port injection. The versions of J35 V6 engines that include VCM version 3 are J35Y1, which is on the 2013 to 2017 Honda Accord, and 2013 to 2015 Honda Cross Tour. J35Y4 is on the 2014 to 2020 Acura RLX, which was the flagship sedan at the time. In other parts of the world, such as Japan, that vehicle is called the Honda Legend. J35Y5, which is on the 2014 till current Acura MDX. Now, how is the J35Y5 different from the next engine we'll talk about, the J35Y6, is that the J35Y8 is Acura exclusive, let's say. One of the major differences is that the VTEC kicks in about a few hundred RPM sooner. So technically that engine gives you a little bit better performance compared to the J35Y6 engine, which we'll talk about next. To continue, the J35Y6 is still on VCM version 3. And they include 2015 to 2020, Acura TLX, 2016 to 2022 Honda Pilot, and 2019 to 2025 Honda Passport. The two vehicles that currently still uses the J35Y6 are the Honda Ridgeline from 2017 till current, and also the Honda Odyssey from 2018 till current. So all of these engines are version three of the VCM system. And it shuts down from six cylinder to three cylinder only. So Honda kind of went back to the old system, the original system of VCM, which shuts down one bank of the V6 engine. VCM muzzler devices do work on VCM version 3. Now the two active engines are J35Y5 and J35Y6. So those are the current engines that are in production that can still be muzzled with a VCM muzzler to control the VCM variable cylinder management. Next version and the newest version of the VCM system is VCM version 4. And VCM version 4 is only on the J35Y8 engine. It's a slightly different from the J35Y6. It is a double overhead cam engine. So there's two overhead cams that controls the intake and exhaust valves. And of course, as I mentioned in the other video, it's a lot more complex. And there's multiple sensors that control multiple different things. And that's why the VCM muzzler devices do not work in controlling the VCM for the J35Y8 engine. And you will find the J35Y8 engine on the 2023 till current Honda Pilot and also the new 2026 Honda Passport. Now the J35Y8 starts with six cylinders and then it shuts down to three cylinders. So those are the only two modes for the J35Y8 engine. So why did Honda create the J35Y8 engine? One reason is for emissions reason. 
the J35Y8, it's a little bit cleaner. And from what I read, it's also a little bit cheaper to build. Or maybe the word is easier to build by Honda's manufacturing plant. So therefore, I have no doubt that eventually the J35Y8 engine will trickle down to the other large platform vehicles by Honda and Acura. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful and informative, and I'll see you at the next video.